Later, at the dormitory lounge, a young man walked down the stairs as Misuru was reading a book. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. What is apathy syndrome? I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Well... Uh, no, that would be breaking a fall fall. Next day. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? That sounds like glory holes. No, no! Not that one, I mean the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, It's coming. It's coming. Huh. How about that? You don't believe me? The first bell has rung. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Ugh, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubo Kubota. Kubota? I'm gonna think it's an O. He became famous as a singer, but he's also he's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubota's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Uh-huh. Uh, um... Psst, who does she like? She just said Utsubo Kubota. That's right, so you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, Minato. Oh yeah, I'm called Minato in this game. And you remember that? <laughs> you hear your classmates whispering. Minato gave him the answer. You must pay attention in class. You became slightly more popular. Your charm has increased. Yay. Class has ended for today. There's nothing to do. So you decide to go back to the dorm. Really? I can't explore the city. There is stuff for me to do. Ugh. The dormitory lounge. Ikari is already here, talking with an unfamiliar man. Oh, he's back. Yes, I'm back. Hello. So, this is our new guest. Hello, fancy Jesus. Good evening. Evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Good to know. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? Yes, it is. So I'm just going to call you Fancy Jesus. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Lovely. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. Eh, it's nothing to apologize about. I'm in a dormitory of two cute ladies. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. No problem at all. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Why are you here? To welcome you, of course. Okay. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? Who else lives here? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. Okay. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Yeah, the other night I saw... saw... Like what? Let's see, no, the electricity was out, the moon was yellow, there were coffins everywhere, there was blood everywhere. You were probably Come on, you saw it too! I wouldn't worry about it. Ugh, something doesn't seem right. Do you have another question? No, I'm good. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. I hope I have one too. Now, if you'll excuse me. You must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. The early bird catches the bookworm. 
That's not even a pun, that's just bad. I should call you Chugger. That would work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call you Chugger. You'll get used to his lame jokes. Are you Masei? <laughs> you Masei or Luca? You should rest for today. You've decided to return to your room and sleep. Why is there a wolf in the city? Or, I guess it would be a dog howling. Later, at a certain room in the dormitory. Working hard? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Meanwhile, in a back alley of Tatsumi Port Island. <sighs> this sucks. Upbeat music is playing from the radio like the man flew away. KJ Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. Gee, I wonder who made them. Well, you're a few seconds off. Huh? Yeah, now the place is creepy as fuck. What the? What was that noise? What's happening to me? Why are you farting black substance? Why are you bleeding blackness? <laughs> what was that noise? Back at a certain room in a dormitory. Hmm. He's still sleeping. Are you guys just observing me while I sleep? The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. The potential? Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. What would have preyed on me? In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Oh, lovely. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. I'll tell you what, to pay me back, let me spy on you, Matsuru. <laughs> I'm a perv. <laughs> Master... Master Minato Arizato. Uh oh. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Hello, mysterious old gentleman. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Okay. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Hello, Elizabeth. Pleased to meet you. You have a sexy voice. <laughs> what was I saying about me being a perv? This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. So are you QB in disguise, or is QB around here somewhere? Maybe I'll edit it him somewhere. <laughs> Aye, probably. The paper you signed at the dorm is lying before Igor. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here. In the velvet room. 
Lovely. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. Okay. I only ask one thing in return. What is that thing? That you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Okay. I guess I understand. Hold on to this. Obtain the velvet key. Till we meet again. Well, I guess I'll see them again sometime. And it's full moon night. Lovely. You felt like you had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Lovely. Yo! Man, I'm so sleepy today. How are you? In times like these, it's best to sleep during class. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed when sleeping at home? Don't sleep in class, man. What? Why do you have to be all serious? That feeling of being completely recharged is awesome. But I'm screwed later since I didn't hear the lecture. Oh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty All Lakota. Is that the samurai guy? No, it's a different guy. Oh yeah, it's a guy who was pissed off because he didn't get his, uh, what was it, cream bread or something? Ahem, I'm Mr. Okoda. I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic literature isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they're wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic literature. You feel tired. Close the eyes for a few minutes. Nah, stay away. Hey, are you all listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Ise Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it The Bomb. I don't think youngsters say The Bomb anymore. Sigh. I can tell you people are zoning out. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your academics has increased. Lovely. After school, you decided to go home with Junpei. Paulu... Polonia Mall? I Polonia... Paul... Why can't I say the name? Polonia Mall, there we go. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we usually end up here. Lovely. There's a karaoke box, an arcade, and oh, oh, this is where you come to rent out CDs, too. Can I actually rent out CDs? Because having some different audio during certain segments of the game would be nice. Then there's that club over there. But of course, uh, I've never seen the inside. Well, one night we will go to Junpei. The station is bustling with students on their way home. Welcome back. The moon is beautiful tonight. It might be nice to read a book by moonlight once in a while. That sounds really nice. Right, so... Uh, no Akihiko still. I want to see him. I want to meet him. These network computers were installed when the dorm was built. The main purpose is to send to school reports about daily life here in the dorm. It sounds a bit advanced for just sending a report. There used to be a dorm mother here to do stuff like cooking, but there's just a students here now. It'd be great to have somebody like that doing stuff for us, don't you think? You alright? I mean, I'm not a good cook, and Mitsuo Senpai just doesn't do things like that. It's like a treasure vault full of money we can't spend. You could always ask her if we could get one. You turned on television. Hi, I'm Trish, with today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is a very dependable looking 20 year old woman. Her sister is a camera woman, and I've heard she got her camera from her master. Nexus News, pain, pain, go away. Well, that was something. Aye, aye. Right, so... I, I think I'm gonna end this here. So... Yeah, I think... Well, I don't think I know. With that, I'm gonna end this episode or end this recording session here. This has been Dragon of Journey going through more... 
Persona 3 Portable. In the first couple of episodes, I started up the game. I did a few days of school, I guess. And next episode, we will be continuing to do that. I hope. So, yeah. With that, viewers, until next time. <laughs>